guys, it's Sarah and today I am here to show you all the books that I accumulated in the month of August. It's more than it should be. It's fine. I have quite a few books that were actually sent to me and then I have some books that I purchased myself. Okay, these first set of books I'm gonna show you were actually sent to me from one of my subscribers and her name is Sandy. And she had mentioned a while ago on one of our Deadly Divas live show that she wanted to send these books to me when she finished reading them. And I was like, oh, you don't have to. I hope you do, but you don't have to. <laughs> it was just one of those things. And I completely forgot about it, completely forgot. And then she sent me a message a couple weeks ago and said, hey, I'm done with these books. I wanna send them to you. And I was like, oh yeah. And I said, absolutely, please do. So she was very kind to send me the Deanna Madden trilogy, all three of them. So this is The Girl in 6E, Do Not Disturb, and If You Dare. I don't know if these last two are in the right order or not. I'll figure it out. But these are written by A.R. Tori, who is actually a local to me author. She lives in Destin, Florida, which is like the closest, like really big touristy city next to me. It takes me 20 minutes to get there. So that's pretty cool. That's like a local author for me. And I'm really excited to read these. These are erotic thrillers and I believe it follows a woman named Deanna Madden who has the urge to kill people. So she makes her own rules and stays in her house and she makes her living by being a webcam girl. That's how she makes her living. But she literally does not leave her apartment because she feels that if she does, she will end up killing somebody. And I'm sure things happen from there. But I'm really excited to read this trilogy and just thank you so much, Sandy, for your generosity and um, sending these books to me. I'm just, I'm really excited to read them. This next one was sent to me by William Morrow and that is Sunburn by Laura Lippman. I have never read a Laura Lippman book before but I saw this on Facebook and they were, you know, kind of like sign up if you want a copy and I was like sure, you know, not knowing if I was going to get one or not but I did and yeah, I've just, I've never read her before but Gillian Flynn blurbed it so I'm willing to give anything that she blurbs a try. And yeah, I just, I don't know what it's about at all. I think it's supposed to be a little bit of a mystery thriller, so I'm gonna go into it blind. Um, but this is coming out, I believe in August. All right, just kidding, I just double checked everything. This came out in hardback in February, actually, and the paperback just came out July 31st. So this is already out, completely available anywhere you wanna get it. And yeah, they sent me one of the copies of the paperback when it came out, so. Um, yeah, I'm excited to read it. I Again, I've never read anything by this author, but I see her books all over the place, so I'm excited to give it a try. This next one was sent to me from Viking Press, and that is The Brilliant Death by Amy Rose Capetta. This was actually part of the Bookish First uh, options for one of the weeks. Bookish First is a review site where you can get early looks at books, and you can read the first few chapters or however many chapters they decide to send to you and then from there you can write a review on what you read and you can be entered to win a free copy of an ARC edition if you so choose to do that. And for this one I did read the first couple of chapters of this and it was very interesting. It's a young adult fantasy book and it follows a girl who is part of a royal family and she has some very distinct powers and she's learning new things about her powers as time is kind of going on and how she's gonna use those. And I don't think she's gonna necessarily use them for good. So it'll be very interesting. But I enjoyed what I read when I did that. So I entered to win and I got a copy, so I'm excited about it. And this comes out in October, so I do plan to read it in October and do a review for you guys. And this next book I have shown on Instagram and I've actually already started reading it. I'm currently reading it. And that is Pieces of Her by Karen Slaughter so excited for this book. This is my most anticipated book of the entire year so I was extremely excited to get a copy from the publisher. They sent me an early copy and I just was so excited I could not contain myself when I got the package and I'm currently reading it. I'm about a quarter of the way through it. Really enjoying it. The first chapter was just, you know, it kind of opened up as, oh, okay, here's here's what's happening. And then by the end of the first chapter, I was like, what in the world is happening? <laughs> because something really big happened. And mm, it's it's going to be gold. I, I know it's going to be. I'm really enjoying what I'm reading so far. Okay, so those are the books that were sent to me. And now we will go on to books that I bought myself. I got this at Walmart. 
I don't know why I go into the book section at Walmart. Luckily, the one here in our new Walmart is like not the best selection, so I don't go in there too often. But I did one day and I found this and this was a pure cover buy. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is this really large paperback floppy that I love and it's just beautiful. Uh, this is called The Summer List by Amy Mason Doan, and it says, two friends, 10 clues, one breathtaking secret. And I think this revolves around a scavenger hunt and some secrets come out and some bad things are gonna happen. But it's beautiful, it's got like gold foil on it and I'm a sucker and I absolutely cover bought this. Then I found a used bookstore here that's local to me and it's really one of the only ones I've seen besides Goodwills and I decided to go in there one day and check it out and see what it was all about. It did have a lot of mass market paperbacks which is great for people who like that. I don't read in that format because it it just bothers my hands and it's the print is so small. So I don't enjoy reading mass market paperbacks. So I kind of just skipped all over those and looked at some of the other things that they had. And I found this and I grabbed it immediately because this has been on my wish list for quite a while. This is Beneath a Scarlet Sky by Mark Sullivan and this is a World War II historical fiction. And I believe this follows a boy who is an assistant or like an errand errand boy or something for Hitler. And I have just heard amazing things about it and it's absolutely stunning. <laughs> I love this. It feels very velvety. It's a very gorgeous like you know floppy paperback and it feels amazing and I was I snatched it up the second I saw it. I was like yes that's on my wish list. I've been wanting that for quite a while. It had been sold out on Amazon for a while. I think it's back in stock now but I grabbed it locally while I could. So I am very excited to read this one. Another one that I picked up at that used bookstore is Trader's Blade by Sebastian D. Castell. This is the first book in an adult fantasy series. I've heard a lot about it from Sam at Sam's Nonsense. I'll have her channel linked down below. She reads a lot of fantasy and she raved about this series and she just absolutely loved it. So I figured I'd grab the first one. It's actually, the first one's not very long. I think the rest of them get a little bit longer as the series goes on, but she just raves about the series and absolutely loves it and the characters and everything. So I figured I would pick up the first one and give it a try. And then I went into Books A Million because I can, because we have one here and this place is going to be very bad for my um, trying to control my book hauls. Now, I had, when we lived in New Mexico, they did not have any bookstores. It was Walmart and Goodwill and that was it. If I wanted to go to a bookstore, I had to drive to Lubbock, Texas, which is an hour and a half away and a time zone change. So it, that didn't happen very often. And so when we got here and moved back home, I knew there's a Barnes and Noble and a couple of books a millions. And so, yeah, that's gonna be happening. But we went into books a million after we went and saw a movie one day with the girls and we were just kind of walking around the shopping center and I was like, let's go into books a million just to look and see. And of course I went right to the bargain area because that's what I do. That's the first place I always go and look. And they have really cheap, books that are you know three four five dollars and they're hardback books for you know, like 5.97 or something and then while we were there it happened to be a buy two get one free on all the bargain books so I was like oh crap and this is where my book hauls are just going to go down the tube <laughs> so the first one I picked up is Renegades by Marissa Meyer I got this for 5.97 why? Why? Why was this 5 dollars I don't know. But I mean, this came out this year and it's a hardback and it's gorgeous and it's huge and it's like, this book is beautiful. And I got it for under $6. I don't understand why. I'm not gonna ask questions. Like, um, just give it to me. Just put it in my hands, everything's fine. So this was the first one I picked up for sure. Now this one is the beginning of a new series that she'd started and I believe it's, a little bit of a superhero type of story versus um, I don't think it's heavy on the sci-fi it might be I'm not quite sure but people are raving about it like just everyone loves this book and I have not read anything by Marissa Meyer yet but I have her entire Lunar Chronicles and now I have this so I need to get started on something. Also there for the same price of $5.97 is The Empress 
by S.J. Kincaid, and this is the sequel to The Diabolic that I have, and I have not read that yet. I would really like to, and now I have the sequel as well, and this book is just absolutely gorgeous, and it matches my hardcover of The Diabolic. So now I have both books. I'm not sure if there's going to be another one coming out or not. I'm going to have to do some research on that to see if there's going to be a third one or not, or if it's just a duology. I'm not sure yet, but um, either way, I'm ready to read at least the first two. And then it was buy two, get one free, so I had to get a third one, right? I had to get a third one. And I looked around and there were quite a few options I was thinking about for myself, but then I decided to go on the other side of the display and see if there's anything for Kaylin. And there was, there was something for me and Kaylin. They had the fourth Land of Stories books on there. Originally, um, if I had not gotten it for free, it'd be 497 for a hardback, like, Come on now, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so this one is Land of Stories Beyond the Kingdoms and it's by Chris Colfer. So this is book number four in the Land of Stories series. And this is one that we didn't have. We do have the first three. Now we have number four. We've only read the first two though, so we need to read number three soon. But when we're ready to get to book four, we will be ready for it because we have it and I got it for free. I got it for free. And then I went to Goodwill and found a couple of books. I don't know why I went to Goodwill. I just I think I had a fleeting thought of maybe I'll stop by Goodwill today and then like once I made that decision that's all I could think about till I got there. I know it's a problem guys it's fine. The first one I found was My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier and this is the movie tie-in edition. I don't mind this one though I usually don't like movie tie-in editions but this one's actually kind of pretty. I haven't read anything by Daphne du Maurier yet but I do have Rebecca and now I have this one and these are the two that I'm hearing the most about so yeah. I figured I'd grab it for three bucks. I also found a copy of Memoirs of the Geisha, and this is by Arthur Golden, and this is on the Great American Reads list. So I figured I'd go ahead and grab it while it was cheap, and I do plan to read it because it's on that list at some point. And especially after reading Snowflower and the Secret Fan, I really want to read more about uh, the history and Chinese culture and stuff. So this will definitely be that. and. Obviously I've heard very good things about it because it is a very popular book. And yeah, so grabbed it while it was cheap. The next one I found is by an author I have not read anything from yet. And that is The Start of You and Me by Emery Lord. And I haven't read anything by her yet, but she is a pretty popular young adult contemporary author. So I figured I'd give her a shot and see what I think. But a lot of people have read some of her books and have really, really liked them. Um, so I saw this one and figured I'd give it a shot. The last one that I found, I snatched it up as soon as I saw it. I was like, ah, <laughs> so <laughs> that is Out of the Easy by Ruta Sepetis. And Ruta Sepetis is the author of Between Shades of Grey, which I just read and absolutely loved. And she also wrote Salt to the Sea, which I read and absolutely loved. So I grabbed this one. It's a hardback. It's gorgeous. And yeah, and I think these are the only three books that she has written so far. So now I have all of her books and I'll be excited to read this one when I get to it. And this one I believe takes place in New Orleans. It's uh, surrounding something like that. So yeah, excited. That's a good size book haul, that's 16 books. And I just, yeah, whoopsies. It's fine, everything's great, everything's fine. And I am unhauling books as I'm reading them as well. I'm not unhauling 16 books, but it's okay. I'm just unhauling books every month now as I'm reading them and deciding whether or not I want to hang on to them. And then if I don't, I'm going to go ahead and donate them. And then if I do, they're going to stay on my shelf. So we'll just see how it's all going to work out. I'm just not worrying about it. <laughs> I'm just, it's fine. All right, guys, let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books and let me know if there's anything I should pick up quickly. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day.